Mario, my boy. You know what it is. It's your boy, Mario. <laughs> Young brown Latino. You know how it is. How you feeling? I'm tired, dude. I played decent. I played. Well, I played you. I played Carter. I played Pugs. I played James and Dry Bones. <laughs> I lost to James and Dry Bones, but like my Dry Bones said, I. I was kind of over it at that point. I just played two. I, I played one really pretty high intensity set after your uh, after our set. The set before that, I was just kind of memeing. So it was like, I got rolling. And then I was like, oh, I have to play Cole now. All right, well, this is just another day in the office, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> How do you I, feel being back at a tournament? Dude, it's great, man. I'm not going to lie, man. Whenever I walked in and I saw everyone, I was like, tears in my eyes. It felt great. It felt great. Every time that I see all the boys, it hits different. Go watch your set. Go watch your go watch. <laughs> yeah. This is the this is the Mario interview, dude. Yeah, dude. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is the Mario interview. Yeah. Get out of here. Get, You're dead. get out of here, guys. <laughs> Go play camp. Go warm up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, dude. Your, your anti-Marth prop candle will work. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right. I want the whole origin story. Oh, How'd you God. get into okay. Melee? So, oh, the origin story starts a little while ago. So, I was... Let's see, I would have been 17, almost 18, whatever, I went to my first Melee tournament, and I got in with one of my homies, uh, Garen Konagi, who lives in Chicago now, and... He doesn't live here anymore? No, 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 he moved to Chicago. I'm going to tell a quick story about him. Oh, okay, that's fine. In my first tournament, got sent to Losers by Flower Dog, played Konagi, beat him. Oh. Then I had to leave the tournament <laughs> right after, and I felt so bad, <laughs> and I messaged him later on Facebook, and I was like, dude, I'm so sorry, like, I dropped out of the tournament right after beating you. And he was just like, I don't care, like LMAO. And it ain't that deep, it ain't that deep. No, he, he memes way too much on Melee, man. He like, oh, God, yeah. But yeah, he got me really in. Well, let me rephrase that. He beat the absolute hell out of me every day for like a year. And then I like figured out that this was an actual competitive game. So we stopped playing with items on and whatnot. And I started for figuring out the real like tournament set and everything. And from then on, I went to... Versus four or three, I, I don't remember. And I played Cole Dry Bones for. Uh, I played this dude named Shino, who was Garen's brother in yeah. Winners. I got double four stocked. <laughs> so I play and lose. I beat this guy named, or I beat. What did I beat? I beat someone, and then I played a uh, Nat and I, and they. I went one two two one two one with them, and they. I just remember it was a really high intensity set, and after we both were just like. <sighs> And then I played Cole and proceeded to get double four stock. <laughs> <laughs> but after that, like a flame was ignited and mm -hmm. I was ready to go off. Did and you play Falco from the very yeah, start? Oh yeah, for sure. Man. Why? Jump. Okay, so I got that. This is what yeah, I wanted. Yeah, this, this is what I wanted. Is, <laughs> I started out playing, just like messing around, playing with like all the characters, just trying to figure it out. And then I watched Lucky West Balls smash at power nine. And West Balls did a quadruple shine on shield into Shine Dare off stage, And I knew I was a Falco man from right <laughs> in there. I was, uh, my mind went, bro, just like, just the rate, he was like, the amount of fingers that were moving and buttons that were being pressed was just like, sparked my interest. So, I pride myself on being able to press buttons fast, and that's, yeah. that's all I got. That's all I got. You're really good, dude. You've gotten <laughs> yeah, a lot better, too. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I definitely, I hit a wall for like the longest time, mm -hmm. for the longest time. Oh, yeah, but so that's that'll be included in the origin story. So after yeah. after that tournament, I proceeded to start just like going to the regional tournaments, and then I found out, whenever they, let's see, what would have been, after Meta Knights, we got moved to Neutral, neutral B. Neutral B. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so I went to the very first Neutral B at Andy B's, and then... Proceeded to go as much as possible. I think I went to like 80% of the tournaments that I could, unless I was in. And then I moved to Marquette, and then my wall just shattered. Because yeah. I was playing, I was so used to having all these like mental barriers of like having to play Cole every week, having to play James every week, having to play Flower Dog every week. And so I was just like used to losing. And then I moved there, and I was like, oh, top three here. <laughs> oh, oh. I can beat the best player here. All right, let's go. So I, I went crack mode and just constantly like practicing as much as possible and like finding different ways to like improve and hoping for like a better like training regimen, schedule, like different practice partners, more interactions with everyone. And then I grew my hair out. That's what I'm talking about. 
We got long hair. Yeah, I know. Over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. And then I grew my hair out and got my very first, the last tournament I ever went to there. I got second at, and I beat the number one player there twice in winners and losers. Who's the number one player? Uh, his name is Colin. Mm -hmm. like Samus. I think his tag is it's just like Call C O L. But yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to the boys of Marquette. I'm wearing. I'm repping the jersey. And then whenever I went back there for the fall, or whenever I went back to visit them in the fall, they actually bought me this jersey and like didn't tell me. I show up. That's and sick. Yeah, dude, it was dope. I love mail. This is it's such a, com a community thing. Uh, whenever I moved back here, I beat Cole for the first time. Popped I popped off. I, I don't know if you know the get three one to meme. Oh, so after like me losing 17 sets in a row, I beat him three to one and I just stand up, headphones on the ground, like slam them on the ground, turn to get three one. And <laughs> he was so mad. Yes, get three one. Yes, it was just, it was great. It was great. It's well deserved. No, dude, dude it was great. It was great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I know what dude. I mean, I've never had a best of three or best of five with him, but yeah. I've had so Three's many fucking looking. game three, you, last you sock, last guy, hit. I get fucking reverse you need off. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> well, it's like, it's even funnier too, because like, he's my, like, he's probably the guy I practice with the most besides my roommate, but I don't really count him. Sorry, yeah. Kellogg, but like, he, he's kind of a shitter. <laughs> I, you know how it is, but I, yeah, so I play with Cole at least once a week, like every week and we, we play for like 45 minutes minimum and like three hours maximum so we we and we game after game set after set it's such a good time it's yeah. such a good time and like every time that we play there's always like it's just like you could hang out with someone but you could also be playing melee while yeah. hanging out with them so it just makes it that much better I, like seeing him improve a lot too is definitely like made me happy as well because like it means that i'm not just a shitter <laughs> yeah like, i'm actually like helping him too so like he beat yeah. Rick like three weeks after we started practicing together. Yo, that's Here's sick. I need to start practicing with you guys. Dude, dude by all means, man. I, yeah, anyone who's more than welcome to come and join us. <laughs> I, I don't know. I like the Springfield Mailer community a lot simply just because of how open arms it is. Like yeah. everyone's kind of pretty big homies with everyone. Like even if you it's your first time here, if it's like you've been here for two years, oh. it's the same mentality going in. And like. I kind of like Johns to myself with, with like Cole's second set, but at the same time, I'm like, eh, whatever. Like I play him a lot. Like he knows that I'm trying to have a good time. He's having a good time. Plus, like we're back, man. Yeah, this dude, is we're dope. back. But like, I don't, I don't need to, I don't need to win anything. I need to just be here with the boys. Yeah, it's a great time. What are your melee goals, if any? Oh, dude, my I've okay. From the day I started playing, my goal has to been to beat James, and uh -huh. then long term <laughs> is to you. I'm a 3 0 you one of these days. Anyways, um, so then after that, I'm gonna get top 10. Like, if I ever get top 100 on the road, I would be content, but I have a feeling that that's a lot of work, man. So, like, if I ever get top 10 in Missouri, I would be fine with that and, like, mm -hmm. semi retire, just like switch to more of a casual setting. I would mm -hmm. be fine with that. But until that point, man, I, the fire drives me, man. Yes. No matter, no matter how many times, like, I'll, I'll get home after, like, a close set with someone and just, like, super bummed out. Like, the next day, I look over at, like, Oh, like text call or something like you, you want to come over for some yeah, you're games? Trying to some games? <laughs> you're trying to get some games like, like i know you just three owed me yesterday but like you trying to play another set like yeah. we could run that back real quick we real quick and like i've i've started playing a lot like i've been playing a little bit more fox too to kind of just like keep it casual and fun but at the same time like trying to hardcore practice falco as yeah. well so it's is like, it always going to be falco oh yeah for sure yeah, yeah. yeah that's gonna be my main i'll play the only way i'll play fox is if i have to play like seven puffs in a row or <laughs> like three peaches and a peach. yeah <laughs> there's a, there's a, i mean in tournament though i think the i've only played fox once and it was it's against puff yeah, yeah, get out of here. I love how I love, I love hey, 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 get out of here. Yeah, man, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm so used to it, man. That's the thing. <laughs> I'm fine with it, man. Get yeah. out of here. Yeah. What else is on your mind, dude? Dude, I mean, I don't know, man. It's just a good environment to have everyone back in, especially like. Some, somewhere like Sunshine Lanes where it's like it doesn't feel that formal of a setting where yeah. you can kind of kick back as well. Have a few beers with the boys, you know, re relax, play some chess. Yeah, we got hey, some chess. Yeah, we, we still popping on yeah, anyone yeah, playing yeah, chess yeah, over there? Yeah, yeah. Me, and, uh, me and Mark just played. He absolutely destroyed me. Mark's good at chess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear your dad's pretty good too. Dude, my dad on the DL used to like compete in really? chess when he was growing up. He, he had like a 1900 like really? ELO or some shit. It's yeah, crazy. yeah, dude. Yes. So like, you know, a lot of people say like, oh, like my dad told me to play chess, whatever. 
whatever. Yeah, my dad, it was a little different. That's <laughs> it was a little different. That's crazy, man. Well, my dad, like, growing up, I, my dad's also insane. Like, and that's beside the point. But, yeah, he was the one who taught me chess. And then, like, kind of the same story. Of, but then, like, my friends will play, and they're like, oh, he actually plays chess. Yeah, no, no, no. He, he, didn't, he doesn't mess around. But I... I don't know if it's just like a dad thing or if it's just like growing up, you kind of fixate or like yeah. hyper fixate on certain things. My, one of my dad's things was just chess. I think it's definitely a, your dad's probably as similar age as my dad. I think our dads come from a generation where like chess got kind of big in like yeah. the seventies. Yeah, and yeah. like, I think they just all oh, play. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was I going to ask you? Oh, do you, do you watch much melee? Oh, or dude, do you? I watch a ton. Man. Okay. I, I'm like, so I'm more kid. There's, we have a, a guy named Elton. We call him Tass Elton. And then we call me Save is on Mario. If you know who Save is Untitled is. Yeah. So I have, I keep the melee almanac of sets and like winning matchups for certain specific players all up here all nice. the time. Like I, it's, it, I, I watch way too much melee. I think it's just like seeing it at a competitive level is like what I strive. It's like it's being able to like relate to it on like, a, even if you're just like, oh, I do that or like, Oh, that like back air shine into down air is a different mix up. Maybe I should try that. It's just like think of it, uh, thinking of melee in a sort of a different way and trying to like understand the game more and more. Watching it especially helps with that. So yeah. it's like I try to watch as much as possible. And like I, I used to be on the like the PR board at Marquette, so I was constantly like comparing sets between nice. like players and trying to figure out like, well, does a set win? against this guy count for more if and, but they but he also lost the tournament but it's like if you beat the number one player but lose the tournament but you still are used to beating the guys that you lost to like it's i find that like the number side of like the statistical analysis side of melee is like really cool i'm just a nerd though so there's, <laughs> there's dude i'm glad to know though because i went through kind of a sad period where like I had this group of friends, mm -hmm. and anytime a melee tournament was on, we'd yeah. all be texting. Yeah, oh, I was the only guy who watched melee anymore, yeah. and yeah. It, it sucks because yeah. it's like, man, I'm trying to talk about tournaments Dude, with no, people. I get it. Like, I don't know. Like, I was, I'm super excited for like Summit coming up. And, oh yeah, like, SCL. Uh, SCL was great, amazing. Great, and like even the uh, the European Smash scene is getting like so much bigger, especially with Slippy and everything. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know if you keep up with like Amsa or like any of the J Japanese yeah. players, but like they had their first in person tournament like major oh, in Japan nice. a few weeks Did ago. Did Amsa win? Uh, he got he. He didn't play he was commentating he was commentating okay well i mean it's got he's like a pseudo number zero kind of like how mango's like right. number zero in socal so it's like that type of thing but of the guy i think it was madara or who's the japanese fox shibu shibu yeah shibu yeah he it was either him or is the other one amaterasu or is it madara no it's a shibu and then it's another. rude no no, no 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 i'm trying to think rid of some marth yeah no uh, it's a it's a it's shibu and I'm trying to think of the other, whatever. There's another Fox player that's really good in Japan, and it was it's one of them too. And but yeah, it was like I would even like obscure things like that. I'll just fight like up at three in the morning trying to like f fall asleep or something, just throwing a, a melee tournament highlights yeah. or stuff like that. And like, oh, uh, I remember whatever save is in title was like really big. He was constantly putting out like those videos of like uh, analyzing like who should be top 100 right yeah. now and like fringe. I miss like, his shit. Well, yeah, he, what's it called? He actually got a big boy job during the pandemic. So I mean, that, that tends to happen to a lot of us. You're throwing away your, ten oh, I thought you were throwing away the 10 Ds. Yo, yeah. hey, Mark, how cool are you or how late are you cool with saying? Okay, because it's 1030 now. I'd like to at least get like three or four more people and I'd like to get you again too. But just let me know if you're getting like, cool, mm -hmm. right on. Cool. Yeah. Just let me know if you're getting like, eh. Okay. That's where, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get to that point, man. It's especially like going into, like, the one thing I don't like about having tournaments on like a Thursday versus like a Monday is like I get off work and I've been at work the last four days. I'm just yeah. ready for bed. And now I'm just like, oh, I gotta play Melee. But like, I, I, I don't know. My first few sets, I was like super hyped and was just like super happy. And then mm -hmm. like towards the end, I'm just like, Whew. Yeah. Deep breath. <laughs> I actually wish I hadn't gotten my additional drink. Really? I, I always know when the line is, Dude, when I'm going to yeah. not play as well. Yeah. But I kind of just wanted to calm down after my set with Cam. Yeah. Because it was like game five and almost every game was exactly. last talk. Like, yeah. And I just needed some Sometimes alcohol. Yeah, no, I get that. Uh, but it, it, it dulled me out just a little bit too I much. Think, I, think. I think what I need to start doing is like, I should start to like, I smoke cigarettes. So like, yeah. I told myself I was going to smoke a cig after I played you. And then yeah. Cole was like, let's play. I was like, no, you yeah. need to see. You know what dag means, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dag's a sick, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> no, but like it's that kind of mentality where I I just need to be able to like decompress from something like that. And it's uh, I don't know if it's like for everyone, but I know that at least at like my level, the where I can see people like start to break down over time, especially if they're not used to having the kind of that high intensity, especially with like I'm selling par four. Really, like it took him a little bit to find his footing because he's not mm-hmm. used to this environment because we haven't played like this in a while. Yeah. But like me and Cole and James have all been playing weekly or like set pseudo weeklies where it's like we'll, we'll was that boss we'll be playing like four or five hours of crt melee and it's, mm-hmm. so, it's so nice how do i how do i beat you dude how do i beat falco you grab him a lot you actually played no no your games three and four you played way better than i thought you were going to where like games one and two i felt like game one i kind of lost you you sleep. gave me game yeah, one yeah, yeah. i kind of lost to myself but like games three and four it was like I had to think about like how to d- approach differently and I think you just stayed with the same pace you like I adapted more so as mm. time went on whereas you kept the same game plan mm. which it's like it can work in certain scenarios but if it's like if I adapt in a way where you can't necessarily change your timings where it's like if you change your whole approaching style it's a lot harder to adapt to versus like something where like whenever I play James I know I have to stick to my game plan mm-hmm. otherwise I, f- I will overcommit. I won't space well and I know that I'll like approach in ways that I know he already like oh. used to. I have to find new ways of approaching him. Were you shook when first interaction of the set I power fueled yeah. your laser and grabbed you? I, was, no, I, literally, I literally just go oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like feel like I was the thing is though I was like if I hadn't been playing like James or something like that it mm. would have threw me off completely but it was like mostly like, kind of like a wake up it was like a splash of water in the face where you're kind of like alright I, gotta, I yeah. gotta lock in I gotta lock in and then, how do I deal with the uh, Hey, 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 take it easy. No, because ever since I remember when you were going to switch to Fox, <laughs> hey. you just said that today. All right, all I thought right. we were trying to have a conversation. Bro, you've been having a Yeah, yeah, yeah we, it's a good time. But it's like, you know, that entire idea of, like, being able to adapt to a person versus mm-hmm. adapt to a character is, like, I play more around the person, and then, like, someone like James will play around the character a lot mm-hmm. more, where it's like, I have to force myself to play the Marth matchup rather than playing against James. I actually kind of was hoping you were going to self-destruct like a little bit. I was like, if I can just like get a few good combos, <laughs> maybe I can get him to just like side me off the stage. Yeah. What I thought was really hard to deal with f- from you, as, as the set went on, the lasers got trickier, but also just your nares, dude. You dude, just yeah, nair. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're a nairing fucking Ooh, demon, well, bro. Well, it's like, it's like the way I think of it, if you down airs like with Falco and you dash back, that time is pretty easy to hit, but mm-hmm. if you dash back against a nair, I can overextend that nair, mm-hmm. and so it's like it makes it seem like the hitbox isn't gonna stay out as long as it does. Whereas like the down air hitbox is linear, or like I guess it's more of a vertical hitbox, whereas the nair hitbox is a little bit more horizontal. Right. So it, it gives that extra oomph. Mm-hmm. Whereas like oh you, you think you dash back far enough? Oh you didn't. And then there's a shine to follow it up, and then I'm ar- I'm already just full hopping up airing, and then go looking for another follow up. Yeah. No, your combos. Dude, your no, combos, that's, that's all I've, dude, I've, I've spicy had. Spicy today. I have to. I have to, <laughs> man. I have to. Playing, like, playing, Jan- he's one touch, man. Sometimes I feel yeah. like if I'm off stage, I know I'm dead. So yeah. I'm like, I have to make whatever I, time I have on stage count as much as possible. Especially yeah. like combo game has been such a big part of like gameplay. And it's like the part of the meta. You can't be lacking on your combos anymore. Mm-hmm. It's no matter who you're playing at what level, like someone's going to zero to death you at least once a game, like yeah. once a set. And it's terrible. But it's also like really dope to think about. It's like the progression of melee skill over, overall is just getting higher and higher. And yeah. It's like the 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 lowest bar now is what like the medium bar would have been like five years ago. It's an infinite game, dude. Yeah, man. Oh no, but like what I was, what I was gonna say, dude. You didn't counter at all, which I was so I I, I, I forgot I had dude, counter. Dude, I was I was honestly kind of happy because I remember like. If you like, you would replace counter with either shield grab or power shield grab, which mm-hmm. like is good. But if you mix them up in between, like it throws everyone off their game because it's they're even if they get grabbed, they know that they can at least live. But they get power shield, they're not expecting it. Yeah. It's like it's like oh, they're in my face. Oh, now they grab me. Oh, what do I do now? Oh, it, yeah. It, it, and I don't know. It's like I felt whenever I was playing, it was very like structured with how your combos were going to be, so I could kind of mm-hmm. predict where I was going to go. Whereas like if I like playing Cole, I know that he will just like throw me around the stage i'm like all right well i don't, I don't know what to do anymore i don't know yeah. what to do i will say so i don't have slippy and i have not competed against many different people in a yeah. while yeah i, how was I, that, how I was just that for you 
It sucked, but I've, I've still been practicing a lot. I've been doing the old school, the Armada. Yeah, just get that yeah, level one CPU, CPU and you, fucking man. go for it. But also just working on my movement. Yeah. And I just forgot I had counter. Yeah. Dude, yeah. last week, Corporate Patrick and I, Ooh. game five, I fucking lost. I forgot I had side B <laughs> as Marth until game five. And I got Thousand Needles combo twice. Yeah, that's And funny. I was like, why was I not using this little set? That's funny. So. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I kind of do the same thing. I, like, I didn't up till that much in our set. You I, didn't up till, like, like at kinda, all. Yeah, dude. yeah. And it's like, but then, like, in the very next set that I played, or then the set before that against Pugs and the set against Carter that I played, all I did was up till. It's just, like I said, I was playing more around your, because I if I up till against your shield, I'm going to get grabbed. I know you're going to shield a lot more versus, like, I probably should have still up till if, like, your back's facing to me. Yeah, there's, there's levels to it. Levels, there's levels, dude. Levels there's, levels. It. there's levels to it. But it's like, I don't know, man. I especially, I get so locked into some, my like my own head sometimes that I like mm. I have to like tell myself. I don't know if you do this. Like, wh if I ever need to reset, like if I'm playing poorly or if I'm not playing well, what I'll do is like, I'm like, all right, where's the other person on the screen? Just follow him the whole time. Don't worry about any of my movement. Don't worry about any. That's of what I started doing in dude, our game four. Yeah, that's dude, when I was bringing it back. Yeah, dude, that's like that's how I get like the reset in my mind mm. where like. I'm not necessarily thinking about like what I should do. I'm thinking about, oh, where is this person? And then my mm -hmm. subconscious will be like, all right, I got to move in this fashion. Yeah. I think it's cool, but also it, like it can backfire on me sometimes, especially if like they have really fast moving because I'm like, I need to be in a specific <laughs> situation. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Man. It's yeah, crazy. no, I'm excited. I think I feel like our scene's going to be pretty competitive. Oh, yeah, uh, no, for a while. That, uh, that number th like three to five spot is up for grabs <laughs> for sure. Like me, Turner, Cole are all like around the same level. Cause like I can beat I can beat Cole <laughs> as, yeah. much, as much as he hates to admit it. Are you done? Dollar beers? All right, we're gonna <laughs> cool. we're gonna we're gonna go get hammered. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs>All right. We got week two with the Marth mains. Yeah, week two with the Marth mains. You, uh, we did a round robin this time. How do you, yeah. how do you think about it? I like it. I always like round robin. Dragons and I always have fun sets. That's what I was going to say. So like before quarantine, I would always remember like you were never able to beat him, but always games always close. Always so close. Yeah, it's always games close. There's I don't know. I'm really, like I said first week, the, the battle for third and everywhere else has just been fun. Yeah. Every single set today against people we didn't know who were going to win. We just didn't know you. You, Gwat, Gwat Turner, or mm -hmm. Leaf, Dry Bones, you, like all games. And then even like Parker and Lemon like having like pretty good sets. And then seven. Yeah. And then freaking you and Cam taking games dude, off me, dude. I was... Yes, and then you're set against Cam. I was really proud of myself. Yeah, I, uh, I think that was like that was the first game five like intense like set we've had like for first yeah. time back coming back. No, we have a lot of good competition going on. I wish I would have met seven in bracket, dude. I wish I would have met. <laughs> I think him. I think you would have got. I don't know. I think you would have got him. <laughs> but also, I've been seeing him get fifty plus on these down smashes on mm. our Springfield players. Dude, his set against Pugs too, which we have on stream with the stitch coming out game three, dude. Oh my that, god, what that a heartbreaker. That could trip. See, Mark, like. Like, even if, like, the first game against this Peach, like, it wasn't that bad. And then he went Samus, which was one of seventh characters, and he beat him, which, honestly, I was expecting him just to get CC down smash. But yeah. no, he actually played pretty well. He was using Nair. And then I was really proud of Mark because I was seeing him... Don't look at me. Look, go away, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> I was seeing him implement the stuff I was just teaching him yesterday. It was a sweet spotting ledge, jump canceling grabs... And then there was one more thing. I think I was overall just like teaching him to be under his opponent and sort of like sharking since Mark's the best at that. But uh, me, you, and Mark are carrying the torch right now, yeah, right? And yeah. Carter, Marth main. Yes, yes. Yeah. That I was like, I was see, play Cart Lily. I, I don't know. I new players are so good at taking advice. Like I told him, like in a Mark Ditto, he had like. You know, he doesn't know, like, the most of what he's doing. And mm -hmm. I just give him one simple device. I'm like, hey, in the market, I'll try and throw them up and then just stay under and up air. And then he was immediately, like, he wasn't taking more stocks. He was immediately just getting more damage to the stocks. Like, instead of, like, hitting me, like, one stray, he was getting, like, three hits then. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, like, seeing that immediately is, like, miles of like, a skyrocket improvement yeah. in my book. No, him and I played in pools, and I beat him. And then we played in losers, and I beat him again. But... He was literally better in in our bracket set than when we played in pools. Dude, I don't know. So. I feel I feel like these new players like they're like they're like better than I was at their time. Whenever they were new, I don't know. The Uncle Punch is so good. It's well, tell me this, dude. The last time we were here, you said you were very interested in what's going on in like the top level of melee right now, Mango Zane. Well, tell me all about it, dude. I mean, I think it's interesting because like. We know, like, people, I think, like, honestly, like, Zane, people give Zane the edge right now because of the consistency. I mean, like, we saw, like, the sets of, like, Slippy and the Slippy, like, Champion League. Mango can do it, like. They traded sets. Yeah, they traded sets, and at the last one, he won. And I think at the first one, like, Mango really showed that, like, his experience, like, he just got years on him. But 
I don't know. I think more and more the meta, like, Mango said an amazing thing. Like, 2014, like, whenever, like, we started playing and stuff, the meta, like, the meta was super hyper aggressive. Like, it was yeah. super. Then, whenever Armada HBox started, like, you know, becoming defensive play exploded throughout 2015, 2017, 2018. Yeah. That Heartbreaker Eva said Mango HBox, <laughs> where he flies off Yoshi's ah! story. I was sitting in my room, like, I'm about to watch Mango get the 3 vote, dude. 3 vote, like, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but so we saw like a shift in meta, like because like Armada and because uh, of, of course like if you have like your top players like in a meta game like you know playing a little bit more campy, then like mm. the meta game is gonna revolve around that. And we had that for a while. And Mango told me, oh, he didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Mango called know. me up, dude. Joseph. Mango calls up Gaz to talk about the meta. He was saying that like he he think he really struggled because he was. Not only was the meta super defensive, but he couldn't really figure out how to play like in that meta. But because of these new defensive options and basically everything being built off reversals, like the meta has shifted to become like to people being extremely aggressive now and then working with working their way to get their punish through reversals. Mm -hmm. Because like I don't know, the fact that we have slide off in like tech, like uh, people are so good at slide. Like like mm -hmm. Mario like does slide off now. Mm -hmm. Like your normal average player does like Mario like. I've been practicing it. I, I just still don't quite understand some uh, of the timing or something. I don't know. I don't think I understand either, but great. See, that's another thing I want to talk about. IBDW and PP. Mm -hmm. I think, like, watching, like, them and, like, kind of, like, new and old, like, theories of melee clashing is really good. Because PP still doesn't shield drop. Do you realize that? Yeah. Still doesn't shield drop. <laughs> Look. I'm not a believer of PPMD. I'm not. I am. And let me tell you. Well, not exactly, but I'm hopeful because... He's really good at applying, like, himself, I think. IBDW is just telling him, like, your theory's still, like, you know, it just needs some fine-tuning, you know? Mm. It's still, like, in that meta, but, like, he, like, basically in his friendlies, he was, like, spam a slide off and just mm. apply it. See, you get the knowledge, get the downloading, blah, blah, blah. And, well, if we're talking about the, I mean, the meta right now, I mean, it's easy to, like, for the top three. Like, everyone's been calling top three for a while, Marth, Fox, Puff. Uh, I mean... Everyone sleeps on Falco because Mango is the only one doing it. I don't, I, think, I don't think Puff's top three, dude. I think she is, but at the same, see, it, it all comes down to Falco. I don't know because I think, like, I think Fiction puts it well. Uh, he's the most underrated character in the game. Actually, you know, he's Fiction said it perfect. He's super easy to play as the fourth best character in the game, mm -hmm. but to play him as the first or the second best character mm -hmm. in the game. Like, you've only seen Mango do it. You've only, that's actually, see, we've actually had, like, no, like, with fastballers and stuff, like, it's mm. pretty, like, multiple people are playing fastballers at the top level, but when, it's usually the floaties that only have the one representation, but now we have Puffs, now we got Golden, Dawson, and, you know, still H-Box, but, and then there's just that one Ginger, that's still, I don't know, I think the meta's cool. I think whenever people, like, you have people like Ben, Ben's only been playing for as long as me. So, yeah. like, you have the people, like, you have the late bloomers, like, right now. My era, who, like, they didn't have that crazy skyrocket improvement like Zane. They're finally catching up to, like, you know, Ben's, like, top 30, 40 Zamu right now. So, like... Well, though, you probably started playing around the same time as... Yes. I've played Melee longer than Zane. Yeah, like, like <laughs> yeah, it's, it's silly. It's silly how, like, quick they get. And, yeah. like... I'm really excited for all those like slippy gods. Like I like I don't think Ben's gonna do good like at his first like national. I think nerves will get to him, but like yeah. that's that's natural. But then seeing those players adjust and then seeing all those new players, I don't know. It's gonna be so sick. It's gonna be. So Tell sick. me a little bit about Zane, and a lot of people in the melee community, I think don't they think it looks easy, right? They think Zane has it easy, and Marth does some things easy. Zane's break down Zane for me. So like. Mija Gang and the melee community like had this like stigma against Marth. It was just like, oh, you know, like with Mija King, he would be like, oh, he just found an F smash or a ran. Like it's just like, oh, he's doing all this randomly and stuff. But I think people give Zane a lot of respect because one, not only is he a really respectful player and opponent, but like you know that. I mean, go look at his stream times. Like you know that every single day, like he lost to Axe, and then the next month on his stream, he's practicing yeah. against his local Pikachu. Like, he he earns every single bit, and like we haven't seen that work. Uh, they, see, that's the thing I love about Marth is like people were sleeping on Marth, and Leffen, Leffen was Leffen was right. Like no one was pushing the Marth meta, mm -hmm. and no one was like doing the punishes and doing like the consistent like people weren't no and, like Rishi like was doing like like no impact lands, putting that into your tech chases, mm -hmm. and then like. Zane, like, throughout, like, his first, like, two, three years, like, when he was getting good, he just, like, did a bunch of edge cancels. Oh. But then he refined himself, stayed more grounded, and, like, he, this is just still the beginning of his career. Yeah. Still to be, like, he's still gonna be, I, he, Mango's been playing for, like, 15 years, and he's yeah. still the best. So if Melee keeps going, 
we're gonna see Zayn for like he's not gonna quit. He's gonna no, he's dude, gonna he stop until melee. he's the best ever. Until like someone like can like stop him from doing that for mm. so long. What do you think Marth's of your level should take from Zayn's playstyle? I think people on my level we have i mean i'm still at the level where i'm like most of the time i'm not really thinking and zane's videos especially with husband he's really giving me a way just i love those videos simply use one move and just see what another opponent is doing like just a general game like against chic like me down tilting a chic and then usually when i down tilt the chic i just be like all right i gotta okay after i hit him with the down i gotta grab him you see the problem with that i'm completely discluding like the chic side of the game i have to think i'm down tilting him how is he reacting to it? And then the next time I don't tell, like, I'm going to do something different. It's simple stuff like that. Or against Falcon, it'd be, uh, Zane likes to nair in place to get the Falcon to jump, and then mm. he down tilts in place. It's simple yeah. stuff. He gives you little quick tips. Dude, and his, one of my favorite things he said was using, well, the Falco, the neutral air fair, which I tried to use today against Mario, and I couldn't get it for some reason. Okay. I, I don't understand let how me, to fight Falco. Let <laughs> me say something about that. I was testing that out against him in friendlies. Uh, actually against uh, Rick. And honestly, it's really good at like a mid. It's really good at a mid uh, length. You can't really do it while short because like he's kind of like already spaced in you. Right. You can like get close into you. But you mainly want to be doing it like when you know that he's going to like, you know, down or like, you know, throw yeah. out an aerial next time. It's really, yeah. It, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a stuttering stand. But like you really want to get into the spacing like where you're hitting your nair. And if you're going to do that interrupt fair, you want it to have the tipper, uh, tipper, a tip of the fair, because then that's that's knocked down. But yeah, what Zane said about using down tilt as a magnet was such a mental like unlock for me. That's, it just makes so much sense. Like, see, that's Zane breaks like down like neutral and like I don't know, thinking about a matchup into mm -hmm. digestible pieces. Yeah, digestible pieces, and it's cool because like. I don't know. I think Mars is going to get really good in the next like year or two. Like, uh, I, like Zane completely not revolutionized, but made me just love yeah. me like and want and make me believe in my character. Dude, I think again. your movement's better than Zane's. Uh, what Wobbles said, you got zippy movement. What is it, Wobbles? Who? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? On Smash and Splash commentary. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> against Rocky. Yeah. Oh my god! No, dude, I got Molly Wop. That's yeah, sick. but you got your like two combos, and they were sick. Yeah, dude, let me tell you about nerves. That was the, that's, that's actually. You seem nervous. I mean, I would be nervous. I was like two years prior, I played Armada in a bracket and I wasn't as nervous, but literally mm. just being on a stage just. Oh, yeah. so is it. Dude, let it be known Ken, King of Smash, took a game off Armada at. Uh... I'm not yelling, Devils. No, 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 this was singles. The videos have been taken down from YouTube. They don't want the people to see the truth. <laughs> yeah, he did. I think it was Paragon LA. Oh, he was going Fox, I think. No, beat his peach. Beat his peach on Pokemon Stadium. It was not on stream. It was three separate YouTube videos. Ken vs. Armada dot MOV. MOV. And uh, they no longer exist, but I regret not downloading them. I don't know. I think for, like, Mars, like, I guess... I don't know. I'm excited for the meta because I think HBox is also going to make a major comeback. Me, like, too. I, Me too. I think he will like still be good on CRP. I'm pretty pumped for the HBox comeback. And then literally, people are sleeping on Plop in the Sheiks. Oh like, yeah, dude. like and can we like we haven't even talked about how like Leffen has literally broken his hand, switched to a completely different controller, lives in Sweden, and literally just won like a tournament without dropping a set and. Yeah. Like, already is playing Zane and Friendlies with the Sheik, and he's like, dude, I don't know. Like, he, he's already getting, like, they got to play on a CRT in a month. Like, yeah. and then I think, see, and then IBDW talked about the matchup, but then I literally watched the stream today, and he was practicing Fox uh, teching Mars counter. So I'm like, is, is he still practicing? I don't know. Like, Mango called it because he was like, he said that Plup, I mean, uh, Leffen would stick to it, but he didn't think IBDW would stick to it. Stick, stick to the Sheik. I feel like IBDW should just stay with Fox for a while. He's uh, good, dude. He's good. His sets against Zane, I know it's a meme to say like close 3 0 or whatever. I think a lot of Foxes look pretty winnable against Zane. There's just these few moments where you slip up and he kills you. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's hard because, like, every, because, like, debatably, every Fox, like, Zane's better than every Fox except for IBDW, like, because right. they're the only one on the same, like, skill tier. But I don't know, man. I watched a GG video today. Mango hasn't lost to another Falco since Mango since 2017. Who hasn't lost against? Zane has not so, lost right. to another Mango in tournament yeah, since another 2017. Falco, yeah. Another Falco Mango. Another Falco. <laughs> and like, when's, the last time he lost to a Fox was left in a Smash and Splash. I think. No, not Smash and Splash, but like, he just... And Mango's Fox. Mango definitely... Mango's been talking about his Fox, and now he's yeah. going to be bringing out the Fox. So, Dude, I always used to get so... 
I mean, again, I know nothing about Melee compared to Mango, but I used to always get so sad when he would retire the fox because there were times I did not believe in the Falco. And I was like, dude, bring the fox back. Yeah, like, that, what's yeah going the 2015-16 times. So I have to go, oh my god, let's set it let's set between seven and Turner is still going. Who's winning? I'll check. And he's down smashing. Yeah, he's just actually kind of hype. Mm-hmm. Shit, I can't even see. Hey, Cole. Hey, dry bones. Oh, he heard me. I hit him. Set count. Set count. <laughs> <Watch it. laughs> Hey, get him over here. We need to get him on the mic. All right. I'm here again with Gaz, but also with Dry Bones. What's up? What's up, boys? What's up, dog? Uh, So what's your name? My name is Cole. Your tag is? Dry Bones is my tag. Why why Dry Bones? You know, actually, I just kind of picked it when I was a kid and like... I made a username. Dry Bones is my favorite Mario character when I was a kid. My dad was like, oh, I need to make an account for like Xbox. So I was like, all right. And he, like, he just, just kind of like made it with me and my dad. You're leaving? And then, Come here real quick. Lemon Lord. What's up? It's good to see you again. Yeah. I'm sorry a lot of our audio got corrupted, <laughs> but I saved as much of it as I could. All right. Are you coming to the next tournament? Yeah, yeah, I'll be here. Hell yeah, dude. I'll we'll see talk, you then. We'll talk then. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk then. All right. See all you. Right, peace out, bro. I like the surprise of seeing, I'm not knowing who I'm playing next. I'm not going to watch game five. You're still in the bracket? I'm still in bracket. I'm waiting on Seven and Turner. Jeez. Yeah. Well, dude, tell me a little bit about how you got into Melee. Oh. Mario, so, you're next. I, know. <laughs> I got into Melee. I started in actually as a Smash 4 player. Okay. I played Melee when I was a kid. Loved the game. I was a Roy main, you know, sake. Yeah, like Roy many of us. Sake. Thought he was better than Marth because of fire. But, oh, yeah. You know, that's just... I played uh, Smash 4 with my best friends from high school, Gage. He comes to the weeklies, tags Mariah. He's been here a few times. He used to live up here when, like three years ago. Who did you play in Smash 4? I kind of just played everyone. I think I played like Little Mac and like characters like Villager. And I think I played Villager a lot was my main. Mario. Yeah. Villager Mario. <laughs> okay, cool. But we just we had a GameCube then, and we decided just to plug it in because I watched it. My first tournament I saw was Apex 2015. I saw it on Twitch. It popped up. And I was like, oh, whoa, like, Super Smash Bros. Melee, like, there's mm-hmm. no way. Like, 2014, was, you said? 15. 15? It was, like, PP's, like, last, PPMD's last tournament, right. like, main tournament, at least, before he kind of fell off. And uh, it was PPMD left. I know it was either left or PPMD was one of the first people I saw. It's hard to remember. But I just saw that, so we plugged in our GameCube and uh, just tried it and SD'd, like, four times this box, <laughs> and then <laughs> this kind of got better from there. What drew you to Captain Falcon? Actually, it was Bobby Scar's combo video, like, I killed Mufasa. Really? I, I saw that, and I was like, oh, this is sick. And I was like, yeah, this is, like, super cool, and I just saw combos, and, like, I thought it was really cool, so I just wanted to play that. Like, a lot of, people, a lot of Falcos like Mango, and they get a lot of stuff from Mango, so. We've had a lot of fun sets over there, oh, over the years. We had oh, a good yeah. one today. Yeah, we did. How do I beat Falcon, dude? Man, how do you beat Falcon? I'd say James is really good at just, his punish game is super strong on platform, he gets me up above him, and I just, it's just like 30%, like 70% before I can even get out of it. So that's I think they I, need you. I think they do, so. All right. Going. Well, thanks for, thanks for a short time. What's up, Seven? Yo, what up? How are you doing this week? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm doing good. I was pretty happy with how I played today. That's good. Um, I didn't actually see you play in bracket at all. Really? Because like, I, I was going to ask you if you joined Melee, because I, I was like busy. I didn't even see you. No, I was sad we didn't get to play in bracket, because I think we would have had good games. As always, I think we would have had good games. Yeah. But tell me a little bit about your day. You made it to Grand Finals and Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah. Tell me so, about your run. So I had a buy round one, because I was third seed. And then I, So I had to face Patrick, corporate Patrick. Corporate so, Patrick. I won that 3-1. It went pretty well. Over. It was boring, but it went pretty well. <laughs> so who does he play in Ultimate? Um, well, he plays Piranha Plant. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> but he counterpicked me after I won game one and went Mega Man. And you were playing Marth? I was playing Roy. Or, yeah, Roy. At, well, I played Wolf game one on purpose because it's like... I can just laser piranha plant and not interact the whole game because like I hate that I hate fighting that character. It's so <laughs> why why because it's just like massive projectile like burst bubble kills you at eighty randomly. <laughs> Some, someone just kicked their shoe into the trash can. <laughs> <That's> weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I played Wolf because he's got a reflector. I can kill him super early with back air and. Mm-hmm. Most importantly, I can just laser him from across the stage so I don't have to deal with this dumb shit <laughs> yeah. at the time. Uh, anyway, so that's so well. 
Then I played Surge. This was Winter Semis uh, later. Played Surge in Winter Semis, and I got the reverse 3-0, which was hype. Who, and you were playing Roy in that I set? I went Roy that set, yeah. Who was he, who was he playing? He's, he's playing Pyro and Mithra. That's like his new main. Okay. He used to play Joker. His shoes are... <laughs> we got the Birkenstocks flying. Dude, that was a good... Did you knock that over? Yes. Were, what were you... Oh. <laughs> okay, I thought you were like an insanely good shot. But yeah, then I was in winner's finals, and I lost to Indecisive 3-0, because he's good. Who does he play? He plays Snake. Okay. Indecisive plays Snake. Dude, playing against Snake is so hard in Ultimate. I know. I don't know how to it's do like, it. It's like, dude, the grenade is, it's like he counters every move you put out, like, what the hell. Yeah. <laughs> but then I played some Melee, did good. Played all Peach? Yeah, well, I went Fox and Samus. Tell me, yeah, tell me about bit. your melee run. Okay, so my pool, first I played Rick. I actually did pretty good game one against mm -hmm. his Falco, his last stock. Then he two-stocked me. Then I fought Lemon Ward and Pugs. Mm -hmm. How'd those go? I, your Pug set, that yeah. reminded me of like our old Dude, sets. That was that one was pretty close. Um, you got the stitch in game three. <laughs> <laughs> and what's crazy yeah, is I, in our interview last week, you talked about... How you get lucky with turnips. You literally <laughs> got a stitch on game Dude, three. Whenever I played Rick, my very first pool was Obama, which was hype. But anyway, so yeah, Pug set was close. I went Samus and like basically SD'd when I was trying to edge guard him, which was funny. But it was close enough. I wasn't that mad. I didn't yeah. really throw it away. You know, it's like he could have done anything and killed me at that point. So yeah. Lemon Ward, I 3 0'd him mm -hmm. with Peach because Falco matchup is like by far my most played you have to be like super safe on peach's shield in springfield at least for a little bit in springfield it felt like i come to the local i fight like four falcos and i yeah, go home no. I, like, fought, like, <laughs> I fought rick's falco lemon lord par four and cam mm. cam played fox actually never mind but that's still three falcos but overall melee went pretty well i ended up losing to leaf and gaz you lost to leaf and winners I uh, Gaz and winners, and then game five with the Leaf, and then lost. I'm pretty happy with it. You know, I feel like, I think I might have said this the last time, but like my fundies have gotten better, but my tech skill, my technical gameplay is like in the trailer. What do you mean by that with Peach? Well, it's like, I don't know, just it's more of just a melee like engine thing in general. Like mm -hmm. the movement is a lot stricter. So a mm -hmm. lot of times, like, I'll try and dash attack and I just F tilt, which is like a completely terrible when you're trying to dash attack and things like that, or just like miss inputting in weird spots and I die or something. Stu it's mainly stuff like that, just yeah. like the engine differences or like wave dashing. Like I can still do some of the peach stuff. Like I don't even know what it's called, but the thing where you like double jump right when you hit the platform and you just like stand on it. I can do that pretty consistently still, but in general, like I'm not that good at melee <laughs> technically anymore. <laughs> I never was that good at it, but. I think you're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Well, so you lost in winner's finals in Ultimate. Did you tell me about your grand finals? How did it no, go? No, I actually, <laughs> like, I 3 0 and decisive. And what? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so I went to loser's finals. Beat Surge again 3-1. He switched to Joker at the end. And, and like, you were you were playing... I was Roy. So Roy the boy. So I beat his Pyro and Mithra twice. He switched to Joker. Beat me barely. I went like all in last stock because I was like, I can end the set. I just got to like try and it didn't work out. <laughs> so we went to game four. Then I ended up clutching it out. Mm -hmm. And then I had to play against Indecisive's washed up Daisy. <laughs> so we have this little, see, he was like, bro, I can play. Da Who should I win the local with? I'm thinking about Daisy. And I was like, bro, you could not beat me with the, or with Daisy. Wait, is Daisy a character? Yeah. Okay. I didn't even know that. Yeah. It's an echo <laughs> fighter of uh, Peach. <laughs> So on Monday, there's Contender, which is a different Ultimate Local. We played in Winner's Final there again, and I beat his Daisy. But this week, he beat me with the Daisy. So we're 1-1. One, one. You're 1-1, one, one, Daisy week, sets. It'll, yeah. I'll, it'll be my favor next time again, so <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> uh -huh. do, you, do you practice uh, Ultimate? I used to play it. A lot on Wi-Fi, but I don't even have Nintendo Online anymore. Do you know what Yuzu is? The Switch emulator? I've played recently, like, barely any. I just got into it, but you can basically, like, 
run the emulator, then do like a screen sharing program uh-huh. kind of thing, like Parsec, if you know what that is. And it's like playing Netplay, but for Ultimate. Okay. It, it's the equivalent. It's pretty um, good. It's way better than Endgame Ultimate. Nice. I haven't started playing it very much, though, and I don't play that much outside of tournaments now. Mm-hmm. I've been kind of taking it easy. Not on purpose. It just has worked out that way. Do you have any like Smash goals right now, or are you just having fun? I don't know. I feel like I'm always just kind of having fun because I like improving because it's fun and winning money Mm -hmm. and beating people i just think it's fun that's like the only reason i play you think we should start running project m again absolutely i think so too man i got it you know i gotta farm gas (laughs) (laughs) dude you haven't seen my lucas dude oh i'm terrified (laughs) dude just the thought of it Yeah, I guess I didn't have too much. I wanted to ask you about your ultimate run. We got mm-hmm. that. Your melee run. Any other thoughts you have? Are you TOing next week or next Pro- time? Probably. Well, me and Goose, have. our plan was to like rotate who does it and then the other person can enter. But I don't know for sure how it's going to work out next week or next time. When uh, is this we'll bi-weekly changing into a week? I don't know yet. That's a, <laughs> not a question for me. You got to ask Goose. Okay. Also... I'm extremely hungry, and I went up there, and they closed. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. I'm like pissed. Hey, do you want this chicken tender? A singular one? It's a singular tendy. It was given to me by my friend, Pugs. What? Are you serious? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> you can have, I don't think it's tainted. I don't think it's tainted meat. Let me survey it. Yeah, I'll eat this. Cool, cool. Well, any last words? <laughs> no, thank you for the interview. It's thank been, you for the been interview. a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, thanks, thanks. What's up, Pugs? What's up? This is your second is local. Up? It is. Tell yes. me about your journey today through Bracket. You had a Bracket. I dude. had a Bracket, yeah. I had some pools and some Bracket. Let's see. In my pools, I... Can so I, I had me, Flower Dog... Seven and Lemon Lord. So walk me through the sets. So I played Lemon Lord first. I won two zero. I played Flower Dog second. I lost two zero, and then I played seven on stream. That was the set of the day for me, dude. That I was, only caught game three, and that I was a heart crazy attack. set. Yeah, that came down to a stitch. I'm pretty it sure it was a stitch. Um, yep. That was the game changer. That one I lost 2-1. I'm really glad I got to play a game like on stream. I am glad that set was on stream. I think that'll be a really good one for me to go back and study. Dude, I was kind of happy. I dodged you in bracket today. I thought you were yeah, playing really well. I felt really good. I was watching you. I thought you were playing really well. And mm-hmm. that and the, the brief second I saw you, I forget if it was in pools or in bracket, but I was like, I need to play like that. Like you were just playing smart. And I was like, I need to do that. I need to play slower and I need to play smarter. And I think I did. And then I, I got in a bracket, and I don't know what it was, but I think I was just tired or something. No Johns. Who did you play in bracket? I played par four again. That was a rematch. Marth Falco? Marth Falco, yeah. And again, I lost a 3-1. Really? And then, and then I played Mario Guat, I think. And that was 3-1 as well. I was happy I took a game off him. I respect him a lot, and he's a really good player. He was kind of going for crazy shit. He was. Um, he suicide was dared funny. you quite yeah. a bit. I told you, didn't yeah, I tell yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told he, you. He was going like that. Wee! What did he? Do? What was the noise he, he was made? Like, yeah, yeah, the Kah! yeah, yeah. He, he didn't do that, but he did suicide down air me a couple times. He got caught like side being off the stage a couple times. But yeah, that was a super fun set. We are Eskimo brothers once again because I got mm-hmm. eliminated by Mario as well. You had a good run today, though, dude. I did. I actually okay. So you know that like day one fighting game fundamental, which is like don't look at your character, look at their character. Mm-hmm. For some reason, I started doing that. Game four against Guat, mm-hmm. and I almost brought it back. And I was like, God, why was I just staring at Marth the whole time? Like, yep. you need to look at Belko. You yep. need to see where he is. Yeah. So, like, I felt a little dumb, but I was really happy with how I played today. I was so, dude, me and Cam's set was so crazy. I don't know if you got to yeah, watch it, but uh, I didn't. I didn't dude, get to see it. Well, that it's set, recorded and let's it's, a, go. it's crazy. I'm super, <laughs> I'm super psyched to see that set. I, I, I want to watch like that salty run back kind dude, of thing. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I actually got to play a friendly against him before he left and he destroyed me with his fox. And I was like, God damn. So, yeah. I mean, I took a stock or two off of him, but yeah, it was so. I, I'm excited, and and that was what I was looking for coming from last time into this time, and that was 
what that Nick dude said, lasagna, right. was that, you know, just focus on being better than you were the day before. I was pretty happy with how I played today. I, I felt like I played pretty well, generally. I didn't really make too many stupid mistakes. I wasn't getting caught in jab. I wasn't yeah. getting, like, caught in my run. You know, I felt like I could have used up tilt more, side B more. There, are you, are there you some, liking Marth? You liking Marth? Yeah, I'm really liking Marth. Yeah, I'm really, like, excited just to keep the grind up with him. Mm -hmm. There are so many Falcos. Dude, we've got a lot of Falcos. So here, many Falcos. Yeah. A lot of Falcons. The it thing looks, that's nice about having a scene with a lot of Falcos, though, is you're going to learn how to get hit, basically. Because like, you're going to be getting late. Did you see? I already mentioned this on the interview, so I'm embarrassed to bring it up again. <laughs> Literally, game one against squad. Did you see what I did in the first second? I power shielded yes. his first yes. laser, and I fucking grabbed him. Yep. Ooh, yes, man. yes. And I'd been practicing that. I, here's I, how I practice. I put one controller on the ground. And I tap B with my fucking toe, okay? That's and sick. then I power shield lasers as Mark. That's sick. <laughs> that, is some, that is some 2004 <laughs> practice right there. That's, I think I was watching that, and because I wasn't really watching the screen, so I saw two things at once. I saw the power shield, and I saw him, like physically react <laughs> to you power shielding his laser. I saw him go like. <laughs> and I know that doesn't translate in through the interview, but I yeah. saw him like jump and I was like, oh, shit. And then it was like, on, dude. Yeah, <laughs> and it was on. And then it was a great set. Yeah, and that's and I did that to him. I did that to Lemon Lord a couple times. Yeah, so you like, Lemon Lord rivals, dude. He I was know. on interviews and he said he's coming for you. Really? Yeah. Did he? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I was talking to him for a little bit. I was telling him and, you know, and we can be rivals. That's fine. It's, it's all love between me and everybody. But I was telling him like because I watched him play Mario. I watched him play Gaz. And when he's playing against other Falcos or when he's playing against a Fox, he's super aggressive. Mm -hmm. He's up on top of people. His shining are kind of nasty, down dude. Them. But against my Marth, he's playing really defensive and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I told him like, you got to be up on me. And I, again, I compared it to chess. I was like, dude, everybody hates getting attacked. Mm. And if you put people in, like, if you make them defend and if you put them in awkward positions, they're going to blunder. Yeah. And that's when you punish them. That's when you get the down air. That's when you get the down smash or the yeah. down tilt or that's whatever. When you fork that queen. Exactly. Ooh. That's when you get that spicy fork. <laughs> mm, Knight captures F4. <laughs> that is a tall versus Botanique in the World Chess Championship of 1972. Damn, you it's got the chess the 1970s. Nets? There's a famous move, Knight Captures F4. It's a crazy game. I'll send it to you after this. It's a crazy game. The Knight Captures F4. It's a, it's a famous. So, move. anyways, overall, happy with your play. This is your second local. You are now yeah. officially in the scene. How you feeling, dude? I feel really good. I feel good about my play. I feel good about Marth. I feel good about like my not only like the progression that's gotten me here, but like my path of progression leading into the future. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned that last time, you know, it, it looks kind of like, you know, clear skies and That's valleys or whatever. I really do feel like that. Like, I feel like I'm constantly learning and I'm constantly improving. And Gaz and I, or maybe it was Mario and I were talking about you. You were right, dude. You got a lot better. I mean, I played you with Mario earlier, not mm -hmm. Marth. Yeah. But I feel like you've gotten a lot better just thank in you, a thank super you. short time. Thank so. you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've felt like I've improved a lot. I just feel a lot more comfortable in the game now. I mean, you know, last week or two weeks ago, whenever it was, I talked about, you know, finally feeling good enough to come and compete. And it's funny because now, you know, the whole thing about like being better than you were, I feel like it's kind of like life, you know, when you're, I think I talked to you about this the other day where it's like, you know, I look back when I was 21, I look back at myself when I was 18 and I was like, I was so stupid. I didn't know anything. Now I yeah. know everything. And then I'm 24 and I look back at myself at 21 and I'm like, I was so stupid. And, yeah. and, and that's kind of how I feel with this where I'm like, you know, two weeks ago, I was like, man, I was playing like garbage and now I'm playing so good. Yeah. And I feel like that's how it's going to go every tournament and, and at least like for a while. So, you know, I feel good about like what I have to do to, to keep getting better. I know I just have to keep putting the work in and, and grinding and playing like good players you mm. know like i've already gotten like invites you know mario like wants me to come over and play we should like, go to mario's on wednesday yeah That'd yeah be fun. i mean like gaz comes over and stuff and we play and like you know i have you and like we can play and stuff i and, need like, to play more too i need yeah. to practice more yeah like today was a good motivator for me um, that's good yeah you were playing amazing I, you, I, you looked like you were playing out of your mind i really think i can be a lot better mm -hmm. so i'm excited yeah you excited. you really did look like you're playing and my hands don't hurt as much anymore i was, I was taking care of the hands. paws dude. yeah good 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 yeah. good 
Yeah, it's it's cool. And I got some support today, you know. I, you know, beta showed up yeah. and stuff, and that was cool. The girlfriend um, support, the yeah. girlfriend buff. Yeah, that I don't. You know, I didn't win that set, but I, I didn't expect to really. Be, you know, because of the girlfriend buff, but it was cool to have some support. And just like last week or, or two weeks ago or whatever, you know, like everybody here is so welcoming, and it's just mm-hmm. like such a cool atmosphere to come and play melee and like it's a cool place to be and yeah so it's just it's really cool it's cool to like see it was interesting you know gaz came over yesterday and and i got a lot of puff practice because one of the sets i lost last time was yeah. to corporate patrick corporate patrick didn't even enter melee he didn't enter week. melee this i got all this puff, pa- puff practice <laughs> yesterday and i didn't even need it could have just used the falco practice but it was cool to see like seven like make it to grand finals and ultimate and stuff mm-hmm. and Man, I'm so sad. Dude, I still can't oh believe Oh my that god, game. that set was so I close. I could have won that. That's shit. what I was telling you though, dude. I've oh had so god, many dude. game 3 last stock sets with 7 and for some it's reason crazy. But uh Flower Dog told me pretty early on in my melee tournaments here, he was like once you can beat 7, then you're kind of at that's a really good measurement mm-hmm. as to like a certain amount of improvement. Mm-hmm. Honestly, if that stitch hadn't been pulled though, we might be having a different conversation. I know, right I know now. dude. And that was still pools too, so it wouldn't have mattered that much, but it would have been nice for the old resume though. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, it would have been a cool confidence booster. It was also cool to get some chess in actually. How and many that, games did you play? I played against Gaz early on. I beat him. I think he was basically running out of time and he was just like fuck it and he's like basically flipped the table i played against lemon lord i beat him and then i played against mario and i beat him as he well and checkmated mario yeah. yeah apparently there was an ultimate player that wanted a chess money match and i was like let's fucking Yo, go where uh, is he they left apparently oh, and I was coward like, yeah coward coward what are you doing if whoever that was if you're listening to this Bring your Benjamins to the next right. fucking local. Bring them fatty we're, stacks. We're gonna sit down. I am the, down. Uh, <laughs> sit down at the checkerboard. Yeah, right. That was uh, and apparently Mario has some chess boards at his apartment too. And oh, so nice. I was I'm super Mario down. And I were so. talking about our dads and chess. He said his yes. dad's a baller at chess as I well. I brought up so. your dad to him actually. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Shane's dad is amazing. Shouts so. out to Eric Page, my yeah, dad, chess go. champion. <laughs> Isn't a uh, your middle name is Eric. My middle name is Eric. Isn't Eric Page? Am I thinking of a... What's the rock star? Jimmy Page. Jimmy. No, not Jimmy. But it is Jimmy Page, but I thought there was a different... Never mind. Maybe it is just Jimmy Page. For some reason, I thought Eric Page was the name of like someone famous. I guess maybe your dad's famous. Maybe my dad is. He's know. got that 1900 ELO, dude. He's got... Yeah. <laughs> He's got... Uh, I don't know. His when he was, I don't know. Name, he was but, like 19, I think, when he had that. So that was... 40 years ago he was 19 and was 1900 elo in chess yeah dude that's insane my did i told you he was good he was good i like i said i think he stopped playing after high school mostly i mean i'm sure he played for fun in college Mm -hmm. but i don't think he competed in college but yeah that's crazy my dad's a baller yeah and again i just keep seeing so many parallels between chess and and melee chess seems like the foundation of like if you think about like mix-ups and melee and then you like play chess, chess is just like the skeleton version yep. of like what a mix-up yep. is. Yep. Like, cause, cause you have your bread and butter stuff, you know, you have your openings, mm-hmm. but then it's like, then what do you do? Like, mm-hmm. I almost think of it like as what I'm thinking of in my head is like, I, I move my knight, for example, and I'm like attacking something. And then like, after I do that move, I see like, oh shit, that's a really bad move. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like me going for a down air as Marth and I miss my L cancel and I'm just exposing myself to you and I'm like, here you go, you yeah. can punish me and then it's up to you to capitalize on my blunder basically yeah. and it's, do you punish me and and if you do, then that's great and you kill me. Same thing in chess, like you, you take my knight or you win the exchange or whatever but if you miss it, then I get a free opportunity and then I can capitalize on that myself. And so it's a constant back and forth. So yeah, I, I do see a lot of crossovers between that. That's always been like kind of in the back of my mind. I don't think it really like affects my gameplay that I mean, much. I think like chess. obviously in the game, like I'm always kind of focused on the game, but yeah, it's so I'm kind of looking at the grand finals in the background. I think there was a bracket reset. We're still, still going. going grand yeah, finals? I think there was a bracket reset or something. Who's coming from losers? F Dog? I guess so. That would be my guess. There was some, I don't know if you were clued into the sort of drama that happened, but in the middle of, I think Gaz went up 1 0. And then, like, or maybe it was in the middle of game one, his phone rang. He, like, took out his phone and it was ringing. And then he answered it in the middle of Gaz the did? game. Yeah. <laughs> and 
some dude was like, I'm here. And Gaz was like, okay, well, I'm in the middle of this tournament set. So, and then he like, the game ended, Gaz won. And he was like, okay, give me 45 seconds. And then he just ran away and <laughs> ran outside. And Flower Dog was like, fuck this, I'm playing the game. And so they ended up resetting the game. But I was like, that's kind of disrespectful. The drama, drama, like, drama. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you answer your phone in the middle of this? I mean, I'm not talking shit on Gaz, obviously. I love Gaz. But yeah. Hey, this is the talk shit corner. I mean, this is, this is where you do it. I don't believe in that kind of... I mean, like, <laughs> you know, it's... Again, it's all love here. Like, I, I love all these people. They're everybody's super inclusive and like welcoming and stuff. I would not answer my phone in the middle of the <laughs> middle of an important set, especially in grand finals. Maybe I'm just built different. Maybe you are I just don't built know. different. I am built different. You so, know? what would you say your melee goals are then, right now? Short term or long term? Either one. Short term in like I'm thinking like the summer is short term. Par four is is a short term goal. Par four, I've played twice now and I've lost three one two. I was so close. Game three and game four were so close. It was last stock. I could have beaten him and I didn't. And so par four is a short term goal. I want to beat him. Uh-huh. I want to get better at the Falco matchup in general. That's a matchup I need to grind anyways. Kyle plays a lot of Falco. I know that like if like you know Kyle has always kind of had the edge on me. In slippy and just like in friendlies and whatever. Mm. In life. Depends on your perspective. <laughs> so the Falco matchup and, and par four and a little bit of corporate Patrick. And still those are here. I don't, I don't know. So I was looking kind of. I haven't seen him in a little bit, but those are kind of my short term goals. Long term goals. I do want to get better at Fox, but right now that's another short term goal is just my Martha. Yeah. Instant. Just stick with Martha. Um, now. Yeah. I really want to focus on like knowing what I'm doing, like feeling comfortable with every option that I choose with Marth. I want to feel confident that like, it's like the mental lag between knowing what option is correct and then executing it with your hands and just making it so unconscious. Like this is the right option to do at this moment. I know they're going this way. I'm going to do this option. And it appears that that set is done. I don't know who won. Finals is over. It appears so. We might have to get guys on the mic here. Yeah, I can hop off. Cool. Well, hey, um, thanks, thank you Mark. for having me. Yeah, dude. Another yeah. good interview. Yeah, yeah. It's always good a good to be tournament. Here. Yes, yes. I yeah, Thank dude. I know, dude. I was. Yeah, I'm glad you got Lemon Lord. No, dude. Lemon Lord, my audio kept fucking up. I only got like a minute from him. I feel really bad. So I'd like to get him again next week. Yeah. So, f- Lemon Lord, if you're listening to this, I apologize. I had a stupid button turned on on my audio interface, and I did not mean to have it on. So, Lemon Lord, if you're out there. I apologize. You can just message him on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> That'd probably be the easier way. I don't know if he's going to listen to all yeah, of this. I don't but, know. Uh, anyway, yeah. thank you, Dude, I'm, I'm excited to... I'm going to listen to this on YouTube. I'm also going to watch my set on YouTube like 18 times. You're also going to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, tell Flower algorithm. Dog I'd like to talk to him too. I will. I will. Yes. I'm going to try and get some friendlies in. Maybe I'll go fuck around and play some ultimate. I'm sad we did not get to do some commentary for Melee. I know. Um, soon. I really would like to do It's that. coming soon. You got the mics and everything. They got a fucking Razer mic over there for ultimate. Hey, they're sitting over there hey, using man. all the internet. <laughs> Nintendo gives them money, you know. <laughs> No, I'm yeah, really? Okay, I'm I was kidding. like, oh my god. Like, <laughs> really? Oh, good lord. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll give you some, to, some yeah, time go. to pee or something before you talk the to Gaz. Gaz is pulling his pants up over there. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah, I know. Go I see know. if Flower Dog wants yes. to talk to me. Yes, oh, wait, no, here comes Gaz. Here comes yeah, Gaz. Yeah. He's checking his phone. All right. Okay, yeah. bye. All right, bye. <laughs> Thanks. What's up, dude? Dude. I think I just played, I played pretty good. Yeah? Falco just growing, roosting. Getting bigger? That's what you get. Been playing Falco, trying to only go him, but I switched to Falcon because I just wanted to get it over with. I was doing good with Falco, but then I was just like... Wait, when when did you switch to Falcon? Just against Dry Bones. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Because I, I was doing good, because I won the first game two, the GameCube shut off when I was freaking bodying him. And then I was like, and then he destroyed me when we went back, and I was like, fuck this, dude. I can just go Falcon and win. Like, fuck that. I just want to play James. So mm-hmm. I, went, I went Falcon. Who did you play in uh, pools? I went Falco. Oh, I went Link and Mario against you. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. So Who did you play against? Oh, played against your boy. Pugs? Yeah, played Puggies? Puggers. <laughs> Pug champ. Pug champ. Lemon Lord? Uh, Lemon Lord, new guy. And shoot. Oh, I think seven. Oh, cool. How was the set with Seven? 
Yeah, it's whatever. It's like it's just Peach. You just beat him up. And, and then don't get hit by down smash. <laughs> then you got into the main bracket. Got main bracket. Who'd you play round one? I know I had to play Turner, but I don't think it was round one. Maybe it was. You and Turner played round one? I Maybe there was someone before that. We played round two. I had a bye. Oh, you had a bye. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I had a bye. Then I played you. We the, went Mario versus Mario. Yeah. Then Link versus Link. Classic. Dude, I actually kind of wish we had just gone Marth Falco the whole time because I thought our game three was really fun. <laughs> I, I actually like the matchup a lot. Like, yeah, that's I, why do, I do too. I think it's some of the best melee has to offer. Mm-hmm. I love Marth Falco. Earlier I was playing. Uh, I like what you going to say here because I think Lauren said he wanted to. Uh, I'm here till the end. I'm here all night. Yeah, after playing Falcon Marth for so long, and, you know, it just sucks. It's hard because you got to play a lot more neutral than I want to play. Falco is a little different, but it's easier to get in. As Falco? As Falco, As Falco easier to get in? against Marth. So, I don't know. I've been kind of liking the matchup. Plus, it's really easy to watch super high level that matchup right now because of Mango and Zane, even Ginger and, like, LSD... Oh, uh, and even Magi. Like, there's just a lot of different now, things. come on over. What's up? Oh, Rick has been given his tournament earnings. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Flower Dog just picked up the beer tab. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my, when I do... when I, I give him a good tip. So, <laughs> I think I'm positive five bucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you enjoy Falco Marth. How do you feel like your set went today with Gaz? There's some sketty... I SD'd a couple times. I reset the bracket. I could have got a game or two. One of my F smashes sent the wrong way, which it like should have just killed. But I'm still new. Like I'm learning. Like if he lands on stage, what to do when it's like you think your F smash is just gonna obliterate them, but like maybe down smash would have done better or down tilt. I'm learning a lot, which is fun. Falcon is just like I said earlier. If you can't hit nair or you can't get a fucking grab, it just sound it just. It's like pointless, like the whole game. Yeah. And you die like just as easy as Falco. I mean, I will say both playing and watching, I love watching and playing Falcon Marth and Falco Marth. I, mm-hmm. th- I think they're just two they're, really they're good fun matchups. matchups. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's thankful that we don't have a scene of like puffs and, <laughs> you know, peaches. And I think a Sheik would be cool, but man i hate playing against sheik i i kind of like playing against sheik it's i mean a lot of work yeah but something about it it just makes sense to my brain i don't know what it is i, I kind of like playing against sheik i think i understand my options really well i love comboing sheik dude like yeah once you get in dude uh, it's nice but if she gets you it's just like you can kind of put your controller down if there's i've been i've played a couple sheiks online and i was like holy fuck i can't even touch this guy like uh, once i get the grab i'm dead which is cool to see like I mean, they could have been a top player smurfing, but most likely, like, I know there's players out there that are not ranked that can do that same thing. Um, well, so you... That's cool. You just took second place. Got second. We talked last week, or a few weeks ago, about competition mm-hmm. and how you feel about winning and losing. Are you, like, going to work on the Falco Marth matchup or not? Are you just going to keep playing for fun? Would you... I guess what I'm getting at here is, would you like to beat Gaz? Or is it all kind of whatever? I'm glad I did it today on, like, my second Falco tournament. Because, like, with Falcon, it's really hard. Like, or at least it was for me. Because sometimes I would win, like, scrape a win out. It would always be really close. But most of the sets, I just felt like I was getting, like, whooped. And yeah. then something would just happen, which I guess is Falcon. He's, like, the, I don't know, he's the one to make a comeback or something. But Falco, you can really just, like, get in and stay on them the whole time, which feels good. Cause you Falcon, have more fun you, with Falco? I'm feeling Earlier when I was playing, like... I was schmooing around. I was like, damn, like <laughs> with Falcon, you don't really get to, you hit him a few times and they die. But, you know, I'm playing the space. You like, you're just beating him up and you're really making him like making him pay not being on your team. <laughs> Dude, whoever on the melee staff did the sound design for Falco's moves. Ooh, baby. And his, to give his down tilt the same like tipper, like sword sound. Like when you clank with the down tilt, like Falco's tilt, Oh, down tilt? Yeah, when it does the sword sound. Yeah, same with 64. They smashed, like, mm, sound yeah. design is great. That character select screen song is a banger. In 64? Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, and the announcer? Yeah. He's just like, Samus. <laughs> yeah, he, he's feeling it. What happened? So, 
why did you switch to Falco? Was it because Mango won Big House Nine? I seeing it in person, I was just like, whoa, that looks so much fun. And Mango's doing it, which like, you know, he's one of the best, of course. I don't know, something new. Like I was saying earlier, it's like switching mains is kind of like New Game Plus. Like It's, it's like your prestige. Yeah, you just <laughs> prestige. You're just like, the things you're learning, you're not learning to like shuffle aerials or do shit like that. It's kind of like, oh, after I get a shine, I can really just do whatever. I can blow them up. Or I can play defensive. I don't know. I know there's a lot of ways to play Falcon, but they're, it's a little less obvious. Did you ever try Fox against Gaz? I think I've won a couple games. I used to switch around a lot because like our scene ended up just always being us top, so we could just fuck around. I think the Fox is totally doable, but you got to be like a particular type of Fox. I don't up smash a lot, which is kind of like... <laughs> That's kind of weird. Yeah, which is like, <laughs> you got to do it. Because when I play Fox, it's like I'm just trying to stunt. It's never... And I hate off the top kills. I think they're annoying. I think they take way too long. <laughs> it's like, wow, you're really going to make me wait five seconds yeah. after I just got a kill? Like, how dare you? <laughs> That's different. Falco kills down, so it's fast. Do you think we should start running Project M again? No. No? I thought you loved Project M. No. No, I, I'd be fine with it. I'd enter, but PM's kind of it's different. It's like PM makes me dizzy, dude. Bra- Brawl's camera moving the graphics that way. are so trash. Four eighty i like dirty <laughs> pixel stuff. Like sixty four looks so much better than yeah. Brawl did, and like PM what it tries to do. Wolf is sick though, and Lucario. Like I played those two. They got some cool stuff going on, but it's you kind of have to grind. There's so many matchups in that. There's no like. This is my combo tree on fast fall. Here's my yeah. combo tree on like floaty. It's kind of like this works for against Pokemon Trainer and like, well, I guess they don't even have Pokemon Trainer, but this works on Squirtle and Bulbasaur, but it doesn't work on Charizard. It's a lot of like brain power that I don't want to commit, but I'd play it for sure. It's whatever. How do you feel? This is our second local back. You think they're going good? Are you having a good time? Dude, it's been a, uh, I've been loving it. The new setup's good. And a lot of new faces and old faces. I don't know. For a while, our scene was really dwindling. And there was a few times where we'd show up and it was just like three of us just gaming, which kind of sucked. And an ultimate would have like, you know, 30 people, which is like discouraging. Degrading. It's like, well, maybe they're just not woke yet. Maybe they need to like play the right game or whatever. But it just really came down to like a lot of our old players had to stop for whatever reason getting jobs or going to school adults adulting Being adults so feels good to be back thursday nights are uh, it works so much better than monday dude monday is always so busy for people a little i bit hate more mondays casual. i literally could not go to the locals for like eight months because yeah. they were on mondays mm-hmm. i missed so many i would miss bracket i'd come get like an hour of friendlies and be tired and go home like it was sad Actually, uh, I was going to ask, like, like during, like, maybe not, like, it was a little past Smash World, but it was, like, during those, like, meta, meta nights when we didn't have a lot of people. We, like, obviously grew when we moved to this, like, Sunshine Lanes and new Andy B's for a little bit, but, like, why do you think, like, we got new people and, like, we started showing up again? I think Melee's competitive scene has branched out so much and did a great job of pulling in new players, especially with... Uh, Hitting the mainstream. Hit the mainstream, especially with the addition of Slippy and then like Ludwig pe- and all that. People really hating Ultimate online. Since like Melee has a god tier online, it's so easy to get into. People dabbling their toes, seeing Mango stunt. Maybe they're wanting to play some Melee. I've noticed a lot of people have been joining the Discord, which totally helps a lot. I don't really check the Facebook page anymore, so I mean, it's probably backed up with people trying to join. I don't know who's an admin anymore. Yeah, most people, mostly, I mean, like, Discord's a new way, and people aren't on Facebook groups anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm more concerned, like, how we can, like, maintain this, because, like, I think, like, Lemon, like, Par, like, Par 4 and his brother, like, they're coming, like, I think they could be coming every single week, but, like, I want to get them, like, coming back here. Like, Lemon seemed like he's really down. I think it helps to have it bi-weekly, as much as I would want to have every week have a Melee thing. It's a bigger commitment if it's every other week. Because if it was every week, you're just like, uh, like I won't go this week. And then if people just stop going, like, well, maybe I'll skip that week too. But if it's only twice a month, then it's like, oh, I might as well just go up. Like, might as well show up. All right. It's going to be a big, everyone's going to be there. It's a big deal. It's a sweet spot of, like, having it not a monthly and having it not a weekly. But if Mario's run weeklies at his house or whatever, like, friendlies, I think that would, like, scratch the itch of a weekly. But who? I'm down f- for whatever. And actually, another thing to know, I think actually another really good thing about, like, our venue is, like, 
I don't know. I think it's really casual down here. Like, I think a melee player walking in here and just seeing like Rick and then them like drink and just have fun. Like, it just gives off a really calming vibe. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder. I haven't been to. I don't think I've ever been to like another weekly. So I'm wondering how they operate. Pretty similar. I mean, I've been like a couple of Yetis and Kama. They're they're like they for the most part run like double. We are really experimental here. They're pretty top. They're pretty tight knit too. Like yeah. All the STL. They're like. They're yeah. No, they're all together. Mm-hmm. I mean. For the most part, I mean, like, during, like, 2014, like, 2015 through, like, 17, a lot of, actually, all of Missouri was, like, pretty well connected with our regions because we had the Kamamo monthlies because Columbia is in the middle of KC, St. Louis, kind of Springfield, and Rolla. Actually, Rolla, yeah, we had Rum. I want Rolla Rummos back and stuff. Like, we need more central tournament. When tournaments come back, like, for the Missouri scene, it's really hard for people to either make the commitment to Kansas City, St. Louis, or Springfield. But if we're having it in Columbia or Raleigh, it's just a lot more central drive. Even Memphis people make it out. Everyone drives two hours instead of everyone driving, like, four-plus hours. And actually, that's one thing I want to... So we were talking about top-level stuff, like the top-level metal meta, but like with Zane and stuff earlier. But I'm really excited about the regional players. Like, that's going to be happening because, like... Shinobi isn't really around anymore. Travis is kind of like the new thing. Uh, Zamu is going to be moving to Arkansas, so he's going to be like competing with our region a lot, lot more. He said he'd want to be interested in coming to these weeklies. And I mean, there's like new players popping up in Memphis. You know that puff player, Golden? Yeah. Do you remember him at Razor Smash Bash? Mm. Golden, that puff? Man, I don't remember. Literally, well, basically, we went to the Arkansas tournament together, and there, there was this guy named Golden. I, I beat him three one in a money match, and now he's like he beat H Box and Puff Dittos, and he lives and he lives in Memphis. Like I don't know, like because of Slippy, they're like all the mid level players, like who were never able to get practice or like you know their region or whatever. They're I don't know. Slippy's evolving everyone. Tennessee's and Tennessee's pretty good. I miss Siori. That guy's nuts, dude. Yeah, he's crazy. Uh, Six on slime or something. And then, I don't know, I'm excited for, like, the regionals to come back. You never went to any House of Pains. Do you know House of Pains? Mm-hmm. That's probably the biggest, like, monthly that the Midwest has because, like, whenever that was going on, we had, like, Laud, West Balls, Spark, Rio B, like, Moki, like, everyone going there. So mm-hmm. I think whenever tournaments come back, you'll want to, like, for Midwest tournaments, you'll want to look at, like, you know, stuff like that. I'm going to ask you guys both this because you're the two best players in our scene. Do you think there's anything we can do to get more new people here? Like, what's the strategy? Because Facebook is dead to us all. It's boomerland. What do we do? So I'm going to point out my issue I had for, like, my big problem with getting with introducing new people because I'm hyper competitive. I would always try and just say, hey, you got to try and be the best. You got to practice, blah, 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 blah. But I recently just like, yeah, it was super. Yeah, it was really recent. I realized that like not everyone comes down here to be the best. Like some people like want to get better at the game, but they mainly just want to see how they do, just do cool combos. So I think the best thing to do just, I think like what we did today, having more friendly so people can just talk more. Because I mean, people were like talking most of their sets where they're with the people they were playing and stuff. And there were some serious sets. I think inviting them also running, instead of just having a seated bracket, having a round robin pool situation at, at the least. So like, because there is a stigma of like going 0-2 and then going home and like thinking you fucking suck. But, you know, going like 2 and 6 sounds a lot like you played a lot of games, met more people, and you didn't get your ass beat the whole time. And even if you went like 0-6, and 6, like you played a lot of different people, which is more exciting than spending money to play two games or two sets. And we're pretty humble and kind here, like I said, but like, I think it's... It's a big word, (laughs) Gene. But I think, I think Smash Fests are uh, what really like bring Smashers together and really like, you know, form the relationships. Like if you're going over to your buddy's house, it's different than here. Like if you're going over to someone's place, you, you know, get more personable with them. So I think Mario hosting Smash Fest is going to be really good. Yeah, Turner's been hosting some. And just having a like nice scene that, like, I don't know, someone was asking me for some tips earlier, which that, that hasn't happened in a really long time. Like, I don't mind giving tips out, but I was just like, oh, someone actually does want to, like, get, yeah. like, they want to improve. I, you know, whatever. <laughs> like, that's cool to see, but it's also cool to see, like, you know, your boys over there playing friendlies right now. Like, yeah, see, my some prob- people just stand there after they they're done playing they'll just stand around and like look and watch or something that's that's, cool, that's but... actually what i'm really happy about before like uh quarantine like there'd be like pe- like parker would usually leave like most of the time after set but like most people are, like staying and like talking like they're not like even if they're talking and not even playing as long as they're talking to us that's awesome well let me ask you one more question is he sus is he easy mode is he fun to play against is he your nightmare each week how do you feel about the anime prince I think he's the best character in the game, so it's hard to be, like, upset that some of his tools are really good because he's, like, 
I think he's the best character in the game, but <laughs> it's cool to like, he doesn't have it all. <laughs> right. He's not completely busted. There but are no, some But things. nobody does have it all. Right. right. So it's good to know, like, you know, I always think of the, like, is it like a polygon thing where it's like attack? Right. It, like whatever that thing is called where it's like yeah. your attack points makes a needle and then the defense. I think he's just really well-rounded. If there's was, one for grab, it would go off of the I, off the. Chart. I was going to say to James earlier, one thing, and I'm not saying I'm like the Marth prophet or anything, but I always thought that when I would watch like Mewtwo King, everyone thinks, oh, Mewtwo King kills you off a of grab or like whatever. I thought he could be killing even more with Marth. I think Marth is a killing machine and, and I think he can just erase people's lives and I think that's what makes him so exciting to see. Like, yeah, and his punish game is insane. Like, even with seeing what he can do against like a floaty, it's like, <laughs> oh, he really can like, once he gets that grab or whatever, gets that fair strain. Honestly, like, I think Marth's even more yeah yeah double fair is nuts if i try to play samus i always like on net play it's like immediately someone with a sheik will come in or marth and i'm like great like yeah the most feeling oppressed that a samus can get <laughs> right here awesome i think marth's cool because comboing him sometimes is fun it feels like you're really accomplishing something <laughs> when you're playing against like a spacey it's like oh yeah i'm supposed to be hitting these shines but yeah. like Against a floaty, it's different. It does suck getting back throwed down tilted, but it didn't happen that much. <laughs> I got, dude, I was getting tippered like halfway across the stage. We got to check that setup, dude. <laughs> Something's in that blade. Nah, James has hacks in his controller, dude. He went upstairs and turned it on. <laughs> yeah, he left. He left. That's Sakurai was calling him. <laughs> I was like, my guy, he's got my tipper switch. <laughs> what, happened if I, what happened if I came down with both of them and just. What are those? Oh, they're, I, I got them for Carnival's. Oh, they're weed capsules. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Are you still in the tournament or do you just want to chat for a bit? I'm in the tournament, but I'm waiting on seven and in a par four, so I'm just yeah. chilling. Seven, I, I got into grand finals and ultimate. Yeah. It's a pretty big deal. I watched him play a little bit. I mean, the game looks like trash, but like <laughs> I was having a good time watching my boy. I mean, it doesn't look so bad, but it like... I was just watching someone like air dodge straight to ledge and it was just like, what is happening? Like, what, why? Why can you just air dodge into ledge and just grab it? Like, that's yeah. so weird. How did your, or how has your melee tournament been so far? It's we played good. in pools. We did play in pools. I grimed you. Yeah. That was pretty fun. No, it's been pretty good. I feel like my fox is getting a little bit more, a uh, little less uh, stiff. Mm. I feel stiff whenever I play in tournament with fox. But like, I was telling Rick earlier, like, Playing Fox in tournament, I feel like I'm putting in like a good day's work on mm -hmm. the farm, and I like even if I like don't win, I could like be like ah, I gave it good old Fox try instead of like playing like Pikachu or Falcon and like really trying to like you know do all the cheese and shit. So Fox is your main character right I think now. So the character I had the most fun playing right now, so it's pretty good. Uh, what about you? What, how's your... So I was pretty happy with how things went today. I, Dry Bones and I had a really fun set. We've always had fun close sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was pretty proud of myself for beating Cameron in the best of five in, in bracket. Cameron. What's uh, his... Cam? Cam, oh. yeah. Oh, you beat Oh, is his Cam? name not Cameron? Is it just Cam? Well, his tag is Cam. Oh, okay, so, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. It was almost every game we played was last stock. Nice. And except for game five, I three-stocked him, Ooh. I think, two or three. But I was pretty happy with That's myself. Good. And then Flower Dog and I did Mario Dittos. Yeah, I saw And that. then we did Link Dittos. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then we played our mains. And I actually wish we would have played Falco Marth the whole time. Uh, yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I thought I did okay. Yeah, I've, um, been, I've been Rick like three times like at these tournaments out of like 20 and like there was two of those were like we were playing mushroom kingdom too like yeah. it was pretty hype and then like the one was like when i main chic and i was just like a little bit try hardy why were you main and chic i was just like i don't know i was like i was really into like falcon tech chasing i'm like i should just pick chic and tech mm -hmm. chase and and it was good versus james like i was pretty good like almost beat james a couple times so i was kind of like i think for your, like Springfield, if I wanted to make money, like Sheik is probably the best character because I could like beat like at the time beat Rick's Falcon and then beat James's Marth. That was kind of my idea, but I got I got pretty good with Sheik, but definitely don't really like playing that character yeah. like, now, especially. <laughs> but so who do you play next? I play winner of seven and par four. Seven still in. 
Yeah, he's Dude, still in. He, I uh, wish I would have met Seven in bracket. I think I, I could have beat I him think, today, dude. I think. I mean, Seven's like you had to like overwhelm him and just be like the better player. Like if you're as good as Seven, you'll probably lose because like he'll just not really like he'll mess up. It, it will like you know. I guess it's like come along with like playing Peach. You just kind of like you can air dodge in neutral and be like okay, <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, I've always had a lot of fun playing against Seven. I thought. Yeah, we are yeah. somewhat evenly matched. I think he still has the edge. Maybe not now, but yeah, man, but Mario and I played. Mm-hmm. It felt That's winnable at times, but other times, what I was actually struggling to deal with wasn't Falco's laser, but just like Falco flying in with like Nair. Right, I, right, I right. just like, what the hell do I do? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wonder if it's like a maybe you're kind of being defensively predictable or something. That's like, what I think. Yeah, maybe like throw in more. Coming down, like go hop into the platform, coming down with the forward air, like yeah. mix up. It's pretty hard to kind deal of, with that pressure. But. I, I've noticed too, like when I play in tournament, I think it's hard for me to like remember the way I want to play. Like a lot of times yeah. it's, it's not to like game three or whatever that I'm like, oh yeah, like this is how I like to like play this matchup. Right, so right, right. it just feels different. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it definitely feels different. Like in tournament, it's like in friendlies, you'll like do an up throw and you like as Fox, you'll do an up throw and you go for like drill for yeah. no reason. And like in tournament, you're like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to up air. And then you like mess it up because you're like, wait, I was supposed to up air there. And I'm not used to that spacing or whatever. So it is kind of like, that's like why James does really well too, is like he always plays like he's in tournament kind of deal. So mm-hmm. it's kind of ingrained in his brain. But I think like, Marth's pretty interesting. I feel like you could play how you want to with Marth, um, at least to a certain level. Maybe if you got, you know, pretty high up there, you might have to start be more dash dancey and really heavy punish game and like not so styly and stuff. Which I don't think you're like spamming a bunch of stupid moves or something. But, yeah. You know. I, I was happy. The the set I got on stream, I had a few juicy combos. Uh, I was pretty happy with that. Against Rick? Against or? Cam. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah I, good. I guess I played with... I keep forgetting I even played. Yeah, Who no, else did good. you play in brackets? Yeah, so I played you, and then I played Dry Bones, mm-hmm. played Cole, and we just played in pools. It was 2-0, Cole. But it was like... you know, Cole was, beats you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. know. I didn't know. No, Cole, Cole definitely beats my Fox. I think I've only beaten him with Fox like once. But yeah, the Fox-Falcon matchups, definitely one of the ones where like it's kind of hard to just kind of like mindlessly... Re- be like autopilot you kind of have to be like okay i gotta go for the shine wave wave dash up smash can't just go for like shine air because falcon will just like grab you and kill you so that was pretty fun though it was it like it was it was a fun match like i don't feel like i necessarily played horribly i just like wasn't in it to win enough to win but it was good it was good always fun playing cold and then i played did i think i played uh, pug you played no pug? actually i didn't play pug all right, I actually had to go play seven now. Okay, go. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, dude. Yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> What's up, dog? Hey, man. We'll, we'll have to keep it a little brief. Oh, cause, yeah. Because I'm, I'm pretty sleepy. But go work on grandma's farm <laughs> tomorrow. Really? Not really a farm, just like a farmhouse. Oh, cool. Did some chores for grandma. Is she, is she playing melee? She's not playing melee, though. She was. I could totally see her being, like, Peach. I think she'd be Zelda. a Peach main. Yeah. I think my grandma could be, like, a Bowser main or something. Yeah. You know? Just kind of like... Oh, God, Bowser's big. Yeah. That seems pretty good. She's got a big personality. Yeah. Yeah, that's always fun to try to guess, like, random people's, yeah. like, personality versus, like, how they play the game, but... Well, what's on your mind right now? Uh, I'm like thinking, I'm like, oh, I wish I had the other setup in time done because I inherited my spouse's MacBook when she got her new computer. So I was fixing that up, but I had to get the Windows home or like, you know, boot camp windows on it because the like capture card that I use doesn't work with Mac. So I had to work on that today and I didn't get it done in time. So I'm like, next time. Okay, next time. Oh, and Seven comes up with the extender yeah. so that we can do a Super commentary speed. next time. Commentary would actually Super be sick. Speed. But uh, for you, what was the main differences between, I know this is kind of a broad question, but What's main up? differences between Mario and Max's Falco by playing it? Max is down to do anything for the W. He's a very James Marth, or James Falco. So he uh, will laser the fuck out of you. Mario will do like the same thing. He'll like laser you twice and then he'll be like, Drunk brain, go ham, hit forward and hit near. Also, Mario's really bad at recovery. 
And I feel like Max is doing all right with recovery, but I don't know. I just played so bad versus Max and Arsa, I can't even think about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really? Ken from Smash? No fucking way. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. We got Ken's sister. We got Ken's building. sister up serving the drinks. She's serving up the drink. She was good. Enough. She I she gave me two beers and she was like, is this just for you? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah. She's like, hmm. And I'm like, whoa. What yeah. Do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what she meant at first. So I was like, yeah. uh, no, I'm not going to give it to a minor. Yeah, for real. It was pretty funny. What was your favorite set you played today? Favorite set? Other than when you cheated me out of I, the I goal. Think cheating you out was definitely a highlight. No, I think uh, playing Dry Bones, even though it was frustrating getting Stomp Need. Because like, I think it was my favorite set because I didn't cave and just go Falcon. Yeah. Because... Like, no offense to Dry Bones, but I do think that if I would have gotten Falcon, I could have just... But I was, like, determined to, like, stay Fox, just because I don't want to be switching anymore. I hate whenever I'm losing, I'm like, ah, oh, I gotta go with my main, like, feeling like that, because it's like... Nah, like, it's kind of, it feels disrespectful in a way, because you're yeah. like, oh, well, like, I gotta... And also, if you lose after that, it's like being like, all right, let's, you know, I'll double the bet, and then yeah. you lost again, and you're like, all right, I'll double it again, and then you lost, you know, <laughs> you look like a big puss. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, definitely down with Sane Fox. I also almost did a four-star comeback that was pretty sexy. Yeah. So that was, that was nice. Glad that was recorded. What about you? Your favorite set? Maybe My Mario? favorite set was the set I won on the recording mm. setup. Oh, the, versus like The cam. Game 5 yeah, versus no, Cam. Dude, I was pretty happy that's good. Uh, with that. And I actually wish I just would have gone Marth against Flower Dog all the games. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Not that I would have won, know, but yeah, it's yeah. just like, why didn't I? I don't know. I wanted to, I wanted to get the Mario ditto. And then, right, uh, yeah. and then I wanted to get the Link ditto. I feel like that sometimes like with Rick... Um, like we usually go straight to Yoshi's and it's good time. Then I'm like, probably could have gone to like, you know, Battlefield. Yeah, like I'm yeah. a little bit more comfortable <laughs> that stage. I might have been able. Rick's pretty good at the close quarters, so I probably could have gone to Battlefield and yeah. had a better chance. But I was just chilling. Yeah, I also had a lot of fun against Mario. I always have loved playing against Mario. He's oh, so fun Mario's, to play against. Like, yeah. I love playing with against Mario whenever he's a salt lord, whenever he's having a good time. Like it is like no <laughs> Mario that I'm like, oh, I gotta play Mario. Cool. Mario's definitely on like the cusp of wanting to win. Like he's like bipolar. He'll like want to win so bad for like half a second, and then he'll be like, oh, I'm farting around now, and I'm just like, what? Is, I don't know. Like he he plays like a super duper top player went to a local and wants to like doink around. Like that's like his play style, but he also kind of like can't back it up so <laughs> he just loses i live for it though well so this is our thing. this is our second week back true gotcha, 15 minutes thank you. cool last question last it's our question. second week back second week back are you having fun are you happy these are I'm going on a good time i think it's i kind of like the bi-weekly like part of me is like i i wish we were coming back next week but i'm kind of down with the bi-weekly financially is pretty nice but i do get in for free now because i'm doing toing which by the way is toing is like easier and harder than i thought because <laughs> 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 but i am i'm down with that because f- finance is really hard right now so i'm down that i can get in yeah and do the toing for that but i think it's a good time I think I want to make some more content for it, maybe make some trailers, yeah. do something fun, but I'm just kind of feeling it out right now. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking I felt dumb that I put the link to your channel at the end of my oh, video. Yeah. And I was like, I should have put it at the start. What the fuck was uh, I making? Right. So I think from now on with all those interviews, I'm just going to link to your channel and maybe we can just like try to... I, I was kind of thinking about in a in a weird meta way, like... If I want to be artsy, like wait till you upload the interviews and then put that audio over their set. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny. It's like, what's up, dude? How'd you play today? I know. It's, it's like <laughs> the beginning of the game. It's like, man, I fucking lost a game to Gaz. And like, and they're still playing. And you're like, oh, wait, I guess I know the answer. But no, I think it's so hard to like hear about other small scenes. And so I just feel like it's cool to yeah. try to just, even if like only one person ever watches it. I think it's yeah. cool to like put your scene out there and like give yeah. people a chance to see what, what goes on here. Yeah, I remember I released a little trailer for Sunshine Lanes like two years ago. I remember that trailer. Yeah, and 
and I posted on Reddit, and a couple of people watched. I guess like a hundred, three hundred people watched it, uh-huh. and it was like. I offered it with a question of like, do you guys make any content for your local scene? Like, or do you just upload? And everyone was just like, we don't make shit. And I'm like, oh, I wish more people like was documenting like, you know, like years from now and be like, oh, I remember that tournament. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we got to do it, man. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. Collectors. (laughs) Uh, Any final thoughts? Uh, Nah. Cool. I don't think so. My brain is dried out and i didn't eat dinner yeah i'm very <laughs> i'm very sleepy i'm ready to go to bed yeah dinner or something. well right on dude yeah thank you for the mini interview cheese cool. <laughs>